Hello there. My name is Mark, and today I'll be talking to you a little bit about the chemistry behind ice cream making and uh, a method you can use to make some at home. So I'm going to be talking about how I created how I created ice cream at home first, and then I'll go through some of my recommended steps to doing it. So the first thing that I did was I got a large plastic bag, filled it with ice cubes. I got a smaller bag and put milk, cream, and some sugar in there. Uh, and then I added this small bag into the ice bag and then added salt to the ice in the ice bag and I shook it. However, I don't recommend doing this because you get more of a milk slushy instead of ice cream. As you can see off to the right, it's not really ice cream. It's more of like a, it's, it's very watery. I don't recommend it. What I recommend doing was the same beginning step. So large plastic bag with ice, but instead of adding milk, I recommend just using cream and sugar. And then adding this bag to the ice bag, like I said before, adding salt and then shaking. And then hopefully then you will be able to get some ice cream. So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the, the chemistry of making the ice cream. So adding salt to the ice. Why do we add the salt to the ice? So when we add the salt to the ice, it lowers the freezing point, And this is called freezing point depression. And what this does is this makes the ice absorb heat from its surroundings which in turn cools down the the bag of cream or milk the, the ice cream bag inside the larger bag and so it draws heat out of that bag and then it turns it which is why it turns into ice cream which is why it freezes uh, and now a little bit about ice cream itself ice cream what like ice cream is a mix called an, emer an emulsion it's made of fat and water that usually wouldn't mix well, but due to the ingredients like the sugar and the other stuff you put in ice cream, as well as the cold temperature, it allows the uh, the fat and water to kind of combine. Not not really combine, but like kind of attach to each other, so we get this creamy mixture. And that's about all I have to say for today. Uh, thank you for watching.